and here we go yo guys welcome back to la noir yes this is it guys we are we are finally back we're not finally back we are we are done with this game this is the last case this case is called a different kind of war we are gonna find out the elson field maybe try to stop it see what happens i i know what happens in the end uh i don't know about you guys because this game is pretty kind of old but you know you know some people just don't have time to play it some people never found the time but it's okay it's cool i don't i ain't judging no one's judging over here but yes we are gonna go back we are gonna finish this game today i'm also downloading a game on my ps4 as we speak so there you go so let's watch this see what's happening and we are Jack Kelso. It's gotta be one of these places. Am I still shot? The arsonist is a bug sprayer. He must have worked at one of these joints. Alright, so the who the hell? It says arsonist suspect. What the hell? Oh, it's the dude that's been burning all down these houses. Now, let's see what kind of location we have. We have three. Let's go to all of them. Let's go to Rapid. Alright, and away we go. Is he, uh, he's going to talk to himself or something? Alright. Go back into it. This, again, like I was saying, is the final case of the game. I know there's DLC and there's all those cool stuff, but I don't have them, nor do I plan to getting them. Who knows? But uh, yeah, I don't even have Xbox Live on Xbox. And this Xbox 360, I had it since I think it first came out. That's a whole different story. Uh, yes, and I have this, and now I'm gonna play with two different games. But let's finish this one first before we start going crazy. I have a game right now that's gonna go for free. It's a free game, so that's why I'm playing it, because I'm a broke person, and broke people also need money. They need more money than anybody else, really, because they broke. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> Actually, it does make sense. Let's check your case files. Help you? How There's a freaking thing there, too. Who's asking, son? It could be official or unofficial. Depends on how you want to play it. You should get to a hospital, son. That arm of yours appears to be letting in daylight. Save the pity for the other guys. They're the ones who need it. I'm looking for a big cowboy who works pest control. Does he work here? Oh, you let me turn this off real quick. Like that here. You sure? I'm not the type of guy you want coming back. Yeah, I'm sure. Wait, we can't leave, Jack. Did you not see that newspaper? We gotta collect all of them. Crusade against corruption. Peterson pledges to clean up LAPD. Oh shit, there's a dead dude. Sheldon! What have you got? Looks like a drug overdose. Get away from him, Phelps. This is my case. Shut your fucking mouth! Since when does a bag man work a case? I knew this creep wasn't on the morphine heist. Victim of his own product. Hey, detective! Can we back it off a notch? This is getting out of hand. It's a time to talk and a time to shut up. Now is the time to be quiet, son. Courtney Sheldon was a corpsman, Roy. He served his country. He went out with a medical kit and an Army 45 into places that made the Valley of Death look like a picnic. He was either naive enough or dumb enough to get involved in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, along with the mayor, D.A., Monroe, and a certain crooked cop. He was involved in the morphine heist, but he has a puncture wound in his jugular, which makes this a murder case. He was a better man than you'll ever know. You say one more word about him and I will blow your fucking head off! You finally lost it, partner. I have a pretty good idea why Sheldon's dead. And I know about Monroe. Your vast, corrupt future is draining away as we speak. I got better things to do than argue the rub with you. Stay with him until the coroner gets here. Make sure technical services bags the evidence. If you let this creep anywhere near it, 
I'm looking for you. Yes, sir. You know, Phelps, you're not the worst asshole going around. Thanks, Herschel. Amazing. That was an amazing little little thing we have there. Uh, so we found out that he's dead and they hit his body. I wonder who put it there. Because I know for goddamn sure that doctor did not put his body there. I don't think he has the strength to do it. That dude looks hella weak. Sure, he he brought him down. But that was like more of a sneak attack. You know, you couldn't do that face to face. And then you, he also knocked out the chick, but he used the ball too. Like, come on, I feel like the chick would knock his ass out too. That chick, German. She's an immigrant German person. She would knock his ass out. It would have happened. It would have been one of those like little stories we have and everything. But regardless of what the German chick could have and didn't do, because now she's captured, we have to go to another one. We are looking for this cowboy apparently. And from the little side back stories I guess they kind of tell you who he is I mean by now you should have guessed it but if you didn't then I don't know what's I don't, you guys are not paying attention because it's really obvious at this point at least welcome to nuclear what can I do you for I work for the DA I need to speak with an exterminator big guy with a cowboy accent we have only three people work here. Me and two Mexicans. They're both on the scrawny side. Thanks for your help. There's one of the Mexicans. I mean, how do you only have two Mexicans here? Okay. How? Yeah, are you telling me your business? You only have three people? Alright, let's go to West Lake Pest Control. I wonder how he came up with only the, these three things. There's gotta be more, uh bug places in California and it's I don't know these things is LA get on my face cop there you go take that right yeah but there's gotta be more places than just these three there's gotta be more this is California LA it's like what the biggest I think second second largest one city I, I believe uh and like there's no thing there no thing yes I said no thing there's like nothing there so I don't know only three kind of makes it hard to believe that there's only three in LA. Please, guys, you see me coming. I'm a DA. We cannot no longer say that. It's going to be DA office. And you can't do that no more. Please, all these drivers, like. Dude, even the cops suck up. Look, see? Oh! I'm going to get this driving thing. Watch me not get into any crashes. I'm gonna go as fast as I can. As, oh, please, 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 stop doing dumb stuff. Why even honk? See this? You see this? Boom! I'm not gonna get into any crashes. Unless I got into a crash to begin with, that doesn't count. Yes, hello. We are looking for some cowboy man. I work for the DA. I'm looking for a big cowboy who does extermination. Anyone like that working here? Well, I wouldn't want to get anyone into any trouble. We could do this the hard way. An address? Yeah. He lives in a bunkhouse on the remains of the old Rancho Rincon. Thanks. I do was a punk. How are you going to act? Who don't want to get anybody in trouble? And then sell it, sell the dude out real quick. Come on, you can't do that. Doctor Fontaine, six p.m. Cole, you made it. What's this got to do with me, Rusty? Doctor Fontaine, prominent shrink, dead in his patient's room, spine snapped like a twig. The suspect is one of his mental patients. I've met Fontaine. His last patient was Elsa Lickman call. She's missing. <laughs> Nurse said that she saw some big Boris Karloff type carry her out of here. The best thing that you could do to help me, Rusty, is let me take a look around. Sure thing, Cole. This way. Is that even illegal? 
Can an arson person even do this? Take your time. I'll give you and the doctor some privacy. Can we even do this? Is that even considered illegal? Uh, Leonard, listed below are the properties you wanted accounted for. My associate has visited each and made a thorough survey, and from what he tells me, I gather these families and residents no longer require the assistance provided by our relocation program. Kind regards, Dr. Harlan Fartain. Let's go like that. Uh, Stephens, Madison Street, Nelson, all these, uh, people. I'm pretty sure these are just people. The Sawyer. Monroe wasn't happy. People started dying and it attracted attention. And the doctor lost control. Harlan, this was not our agreement. You associated overstepping his mark. Get him under control. I will take whatever action is necessary. There you go, guys. You guys want to read this? I'll wait, like, two seconds here. Shit, two seconds. You guys can, like, pause it. Oh, they're talking about the dude. They were talking about my man. So much for your foresight, Doctor. Crystal ball. Oh, I'm sure it's just a doctor we can look at. Wait, let me get the newspaper first. Good doctor has been marking this map. Alright, let's see, let's see. Let's see what the good doctor had in store for us. He left us here so we can find out. There you go. Edgewood Grove. McCarthy Vista. Carson Heights, Rancho Escondido. Do those names mean anything to you, Herschel? Yeah. How come? I think there's streets, I don't know. New houses all being built on the path of the freeway? Oh, it's the same thing. Glass. Let's get this new paper real quick. See? Oh, is that two the doctors? I mean, my bad. That two the mayor is. Wow, and the mayor had people. Oh, the mayor is corrupt. Everybody's corrupt in this goddamn city. That goddamn pet lunatic of yours is burning down our houses. Keep your voice down. Control is of the essence. Keep your voice down. You know how much these sons of bitches charge for lunch? Fuck them. Leland, we will not solve our problems by announcing them to the general public. We only speed ourselves on our way to the gallows. He's your imbecile, Harlan. Get him under control or get rid of him. Speaking of which, I've had to dispose of our young medical student. What? You certainly are a cold character, Harlan. He has a friend called Kelso who knows all about the development on Normandy Avenue. I know about Kelso. And you thought it unimportant to inform me. I thought I could take care of it. And have you? No, I haven't. Kelso works for Vince. Is he reliable? No, he's totally unreliable. But he has so many pernicious habits, he's got nowhere to run. Can you take care of Kelso? Don't push me, Harlan. Get rid of the fruitcake. 
no longer necessary. I'll take care of Jeff Kelsey. The fruitcake is the fruitcake the German chick? I don't know why. I don't know why it would be my first thought that it's the German chick. Seems irrelevant. Oh, I'm you don't know that unless you tell me. Right there. Right there. There you go. Looks like Fontaine has finally dispensed his last treatment. Alright, I think we're missing something. I can still hear the music. Oh. Him. I forgot to check him. Destroyed by a monster of your own creation, Dr. Fontaine. I've heard that story somewhere before. Yeah, it's called Frankenstein, I think. I don't know. I never read the book. Even though I was supposed to in school. Just never. I never did it. I don't know what turning on the lighter really does. I can still hear the music. Fontaine was having the houses burned from Monroe. Uh, am I missing something here? Uh, I feel like... Oh, there you go. Uh, I, there, it was because I really forgot to tap the thing. It's not about insurance. It's about eminent domain. What are you talking about, Cole? The government reclaims the land in the path of the freeway and pays the improved value of the land where the new house is sitting on. What about the stiffs who paid their deposits? Worst case, they get their money back. But the syndicate pockets millions on the improved value of the land. So where does Jack's boss come into it? He's the key. He carries the insurance. The insurance proves how much the houses are worth. And they're worth nothing? Firewood. All of them. That's about as neat a scam as you can imagine. How are we going to prove any of this, Cole? Doctor's dead, and Roll nearly bled to death. If they get Jack, we need the firebug, the Oki cowboy. Get him, get Elsa, get him, get all of them. Wow. Things are starting to coming. Things are starting to become. Really interesting here. Very interesting. And we got Jao Kelso over here in like the middle of goddamn nowhere. Ah, my throat. Something in it. That sucks. All right, we'll just run up to his house. Guess nobody's home. All right, just yeah. There you go. What we got here? We got a flamethrower. What a crazy person! Most guys bring home a forty-five or an M1. This is pretty extreme. We got on this, huh? And I like how he waited two seconds too. Before he's like, yeah, nobody's home. 
Like, who the hell waits two seconds before they just walk into someone's house? And relevant. What we got here? Got pack cigarettes. What are the cigarettes gonna do? Huh? Oh my god, there's like nothing in this dusty ass house. Oh, nothing. God, this ugly ass house. Huh? How the hell does he sleep? A screwdriver. The screwdriver's irrelevant too. I'm finding all these are irrelevant ones. I wonder if this is just the way out to outside. Oh, it's hella dark outside. You can barely see jack shit. Alright, alright, alright. I see you. What we got here? Flock you got here, kid. I know those faces. Jesus really? Christ, was it that hard to picture? Want. Because <sighs> I don't think it was that hard to picture, my friend. Where the hell am I? Oh, there you go. I didn't even see that on the floor. I wonder if this is not important. I mean... No, apparently not. You would think a gun would be the most important here. Like it's the gun, you know? Obsession. Look at all this stuff over here. The river tunnels. This guy's a tunnel rat. Oh my god, Ira. You poor backwards son of a bitch. There you go. This dude has a phone, though. Peterson, I'm going to need some help. I've got Monroe, Fontaine, and all the others. It's all tied up nicely. It goes all the way to the top. Meet me at the LA River Tunnel entrance just north of the First Street Bridge in half an hour. Don't ask questions. Just be there. This is DA's investigator, Jack Kelso. I have an urgent radio message for Detective Cole Phelps. Here again, this guy, we are finding out everything. KGP, I'm calling car 11, K11 King, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. 11, K, you see the man. A 207 just occurred on the spillway north of the First Street Bridge. DA's investigator Jack Kelso reports a kidnapping suspect outstanding in the LA River tunnel system with a hostage. 11K and I'll do that. Three. The hell is Jack playing at? Like a suicide note. Half the LAPD will be down there hunting for us. We need to get there first. All units on all frequencies stand by. Car 86 Adam is in pursuit of suspect vehicle heading southwest on Sunset Boulevard. Suspect vehicle belonging to Jack Kelso. Described as a Navy Chevrolet Fleet Line. How? License number 4, William 0286. Car 86 Adam is in pursuit. He picked up his car. I'll need help to make it to the river. I wonder how uh, they got to the, a different car, but they did us. Like, that doesn't make sense. I would think the same cars and everything would be the same. That's Kelso's car. Alright, let's get the ass, boy. Let's turn that off because we don't need it. Because it's goddamn raining outside. Everyone should be inside sleeping. All units. Chief Morrow reports 
Okay. Remember when I said we're not gonna hit anything? That was why. Who's shooting at me? Okay, what kind of? Oh, they took a turn. I didn't even see him take that turn. I was too busy looking at the car. Oh, what is this dude doing? Why? Are we taking alleys? All units, all units. We have a new suspect vehicle. It is shot number one three five one six. Repeating. No! God damn it! Why is it every time I play this on like to put it on YouTube, I always fail? That's kind of bullshit. Boo boo bullshit. We got here. We loading. We is loading to the final countdown, my friends. Let's go. Can we skip this? There you go. 